first things first, we need to be able to finish your backswing. Mm -hmm. And there were some funky things going on in your backswing, right? That yeah. was, that was um, not preparing you adequately to come down and through the shot. Yeah. And sometimes that kinetic chain would engage and sometimes it wouldn't. Yeah. So um, what we need to do then, and the first thing we did is we did a little bit of punching, right? Yeah. So come on and stand in front of the camera here. Get your golf posture. Make a fist with your right hand. So let's see you snap a punch here with your right hand. Everybody saw that, right? You could see how everything stayed on the inside of your left foot. Yeah. And did you feel how your butt glides out of the way and goes in that direction there? So, yeah. so as you're trying to uh, apply some snap over here, you feel how you went to the ground first and you're using the ground to get your body out of the way. Exactly. So now if we do it this way. So notice how she's clearing beautifully in that direction. Good. Now notice where that is going. Mm -hmm. So then what we also did is we put a Frisbee in your hands. You wanted to throw the Frisbee here. Show me your backswing. So... Just a backswing. Do a backswing and stop. Exactly. So you guys see where she's going with that frisbee. Whereas, where did you go at the beginning? <laughs> right? Yeah. So you were kind of collapsing the frisbee into you. And that's mm -hmm. many of you are going to tend to do that. But then did you feel how now you're able to use the weight of that arm? Yeah. Okay. Now do it towards me this way. Exactly. So that feels like you could really whip it at me. Yeah. All right. So now let's see you whip it into that square. Excellent. Now, did you guys see the timing in there? So she went and that engaged, right? So notice how you're staying so close to that lead side now. So we're not swaying away from it. We're not going into it. It feels like you're able to you're, you're so close to that kinetic chain, you're going to be able to use that right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let's see you hit a couple of shots. So you got seven iron. Yep. You're going to play a little draw. Good. 153. So 153 carry. And, um, you know, ball speed is well over 100 miles an hour. We're going to take a look at, um, go ahead and let's see you do that again. Good. Okay, play the ball a smidge more back in the stance, just a bit. There you go. Do you feel like it's going to go a little more to the left? Yeah. Perfect. Nice. That one was good. 156 carry. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that we were working on before, and she's starting to engage that a little bit, is, and then we're going we're gonna to do a full video on that on the next one, is when you're walking and swinging, yeah. there's a, it's, a, it's a bilateral motion to it. One of my oldie but goodie uh, videos is called Free Swinging Arms. And we talk about the bilateral aspect yeah. of a human walk. So it's like an elephant. You, they got the elephant's trunk here. The elephant, you know, as he's walking, the trunk moves this way. And now you can take a step. So when you watch an elephant, you know, walking, you see a step swing, step swing. So we had you and, and Johnny Miller, mm -hmm. who I'm going to put a couple of swings at Johnny Miller here when we're going to be looking with you. Johnny Miller was left hand dominant. He threw with his left hand. He's like Sergio. Okay. He kicks with his left foot, but he plays golf right handed. He said that he started his backswing by planting his right heel. Yeah. Just like what we just showed you to do before. Yeah. So what Savannah's doing now is you'll, you'll see her plant the left heel to get engaged. So we're planting that left heel to get out of the way. And now she's getting to the top of her swing and she's really, really close to that lead side. And then she plants that lead side and it gets out of the way. Okay, so let's look at uh, the swing a little bit from the forward view now. Plant swing, plant swing. 
Great timing. Good stuff. So that's 150 carry. And that's all right. Go ahead. Let's see it again. That was very flush, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. 107 speed. And um, your spin, your side spin was beautiful. That was a very smooth draw right there. Let's see it again. Do you feel you had a little more strain in that one? Yeah. But your, um, your club speed is holding steady. Yeah. Uh, it's between 80 and 83 miles per hour. Pardon me? You pushed it a bit? See those right there, your, um, your carry was 137, yeah. right? So what do you feel was the difference there? I was trying too hard. So imagine that. So you had one that was 156 yeah. and you had one that's 137. So those are the little misfires. That's 20 yards difference. In, in, in exactly in that kinetic chain yeah. so let me see you do a couple of step throughs show me that that uh, that happy Gilmore strep, step through with your back to the target and the throw to the left yes let's see that again so do you feel like at the top of the swing everything is much more uh, suspended yeah. all right let's do that again Yes. You feel the difference? Yeah. So now go ahead and do a step through with a, a, um, on, on the spot. That's it. And now keep your feet in the same place. Step through, step through. Do you feel the right timing there? Yeah. Perfect. Let's give it a go. How was the, how did the timing feel on that one? Timing was fine, I just pushed it. I just tried too hard again. Okay. So s see if you can't plant the foot, the front foot more emphatically. Remember how we used to put more pressure on it? Yeah. Yes. That was better. So notice you had a lot more time. So now you're back up to 153. Yeah. So you went from 133 on that last one to 153 on this one. Mm -hmm that time so the difference for you is when you swing without engaging the kinetic chain then I lose distance. exactly you lose distance you lose um, um, a lot of the the efficiency of the swing mm -hmm. and you, you you also feel a lot more effort yeah notice that one felt like there was a lot less effort yeah perfect let's see you finish with a nice one here Nice. Did you feel you had plenty of time to plant that foot? So now you're in between. You're at 143. Yep. So feel like you got plenty of time to go get the ground with that right heel. Wow. Yeah. That breezed right through, didn't it? Yeah. 154. <laughs> awesome work. Now she's gonna now she's gonna give you guys on her channel a nice uh, practice session with that where she's going to do back and forth and then she'll be able to tell you you know which one felt great and which one didn't and then check her instagram too she's going to have a couple of slow motion swings to show you too yes.